Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome to the fourth player review of the day. Fourth one is going to be the one I'm most excited for, personally, for the day. We've got one more coming out after this as well. We have got whatever comes out at 6pm. We're going to be reviewing that as well. But this one is Team of the Year, Kylian Mbappe. Now, first off, before we actually talk about the card, this is an expensive review, okay? So, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more review content. I try and make the most authentic reviews possible. Um, and I think my background kind of backs up my ability to review these cards. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. But first, I do want to say as well, this card is about 8 million coins, okay? No card on FIFA is worth 8 million coins. Um, definitely, definitely not worth that many coins. But he is going to be one of the best players in the game. Is he going to be the best? Obviously, we've reviewed Lewandowski and Messi already. And obviously, this will be the last attacker that we will be reviewing. We will also review all of the midfielders when they do come out and such and forth with the, uh, the defenders as well. Obviously, other than the goalkeeper. Maybe not the centre-backs either, but we will see on that front as well. But, as I said, 8 million coins, 99 pace, 98 dribbling, 95 shooting, 90 passing, 88 physical, 44 defending. Who cares about that? 6 foot, high low, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. This card is crazy. Let's look at his traits as well real quick. He's got flaring outside of the foot shot, so no finesse shot here. But well, I'm sure his finesse shots will still bang for us. Um, the outside of the foot shot is obviously really important to have. Mbappe generally, over the last few years, every time he's got a card of this level, he has been the best card on the game. So, with that being said, I'm really, really anticipating him to take it up a level from Lewandowski and Messi. But maybe he doesn't. Obviously, Messi was brilliant and so was Lewandowski. Um, so, it's going to be really, really hard to gauge which one I personally think is the best. What I will do at the end, though, is I'll tell you all the, the, the differences between the cards and why I like them for, for each reason. Obviously, this one is the most expensive because he has five-star skills on a four-star weak foot. You can't go wrong with that. That's insane. Um, as we get into the in-games, get ready for this. This is going to be nuts. 99 pace, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing, 93 shot power, 99 long shot, or sorry, 90 long shots, 90 volleys, and uh, 85 penalties. 92 vision, 88 crossing, which is a good upgrade. 96 short pass and 82 long pass with 90 curve, which is also really good. 98 agility, 90 balance, 99 reactions, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 94 composure. Remember as well, he's six foot. He's got 90 head and accuracy with 90 jumping. Also maxed out on stamina at 99. This is where it gets juicy again, though. He's got 88 strength. Now, that is so good for somebody like this. He's 99 pace with almost maxed out every dribbling stat. Um, having that kind of uh, strength with that pace is just nuts. It is just nuts. Um, being maxed out on the pace and finishing with 88 strength is just stupidly good. Um, I think this will be the best card on the game, personally. Um, if you remember in previous years... He has been the mainstay in pros teams throughout the year. There's a reason for that. It's because he performs the best. Now, where do I think his best position is? I think his best position will be striker. But I do think he will also be an asset at Ram or Lamb. Um, very much so. I actually use his goal card at Ram. So, using him at striker is going to be a bit different for me. But he is basically... If Ronaldo doesn't get 12th man, this is basically the new Ronaldo. Um... That's the closest thing I can put to it. He's got better balance than Ronaldo has, or is it better agility? I can't remember which one Ronaldo is low on. I believe it is balance. Um, but yeah, this is basically the Ronaldo for the for the next 10 years on FIFA, you know? Um, so this is a special card. In terms of the chemistry style we're going to be putting on him, we are going to be applying a Architect. Um, there's a Hawk already on him, but I think the Architect, personally, is the best for him. Now, this was what we used on his team of the year last year. The reason for that is we're maxing out the strength, we're maxing out the jump in, and we're maxing out his passing best we can as well. So, let's have a look. He's got 99 vision, he's got 99 short pass, he's 
He's got 87 long pass. He's got maxed out curve, which is good considering he doesn't have the finesse shot. Then when we look at his physicality stats now, obviously the 99 jumping, the 99 strength, and the 77 aggression. The reason we go for the architect is for the strength mostly, but with how important it is to have good passes on this game as well, the passing upgrade is really, really important in my opinion too. So that is why I personally prefer the architect to any other chemist style on him. I see why you might not want to use that because of the shot power and long shots, but I think his shot power, as long as you green your shots, which I personally try to green every shot I take, you'll be fine with that. Um, and having a 99 short pass is really good on a striker. He'll be able to interlink the play very nicely with whoever we've got playing next to him. I'm done with excited to use him. I'm going to go play with him in Division Rivals this time. So let's pop into Division Rivals and see how we get on with this Kylian Mbappe. All right, guys. Sorry we're a bit late coming back into this one, but we're here now. We're on PS5 for uh, today's gameplay. And we're in the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow with Mbappe. And let's see what we can do, eh? Oh, his skill moves feel nice. As you'd expect. Bobby Carlos. Very nice. Zizou. Into Renato. Good play. Oh, is he offside? He wasn't off. This game is a lot more difficult on our PS5 because the team teams just drop back. Just naturally. Um, go on, Killian. Nice from Kante. Here he is. Here's the boss. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, so unlucky. I greened it, too. Nice from Mattel. Kante's never finding that. We need his team of the year to be able to find that pass. Nice from Mattel. Into Killian. Killian with a McGeady cancel. Oh, shot cancel as well. Oh, that's a dirty goal. That's a dirty goal. This is why I like these cards, you know, because... Just having the upgrade to like the dribbling stats to be able to shot cancel quicker. You know, it seems so, so pointless. You you guys don't understand, man. The shot cancels are so heavily used in the pro scene as well. Um, because you're able to turn your you, you know, you're able to turn it like an 180 degree angle straight away. It's like an instant uh turn. So that is why it's so effective, and that's probably my main move in uh in the attack in this year's uh instalment of FIFA. And there's a reason for that, you know. And um, this guy's team isn't the best either, by the way. Just so you're aware. He's a good player, though. He is a good player. Oh, look at that dribbling from him. Good defender, Raphael Varane. Champions League Varane. As you can see, if you look here, you can see how much the team drops. Um, just when you're, when you're defending. It's really, really annoying to have that on PS5. But I am tempted to make the switch back. Because obviously, because I'm not competing this year, I don't need to worry about playing on the PS5. Um, but I'm starting to starting to enjoy the PS5 gameplay just a little bit more. Oh my god, how on earth have I came up with that? Did he stay on there? Oh, well, he did. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. This is this is a joke. All right, guys. Game number two with Killian. Let's see how we get on. We're probably going to play four or five games with him. Depends on rage quits and stuff. Because I imagine that the rage quits will be coming thick and fast here. This guy's got an all right team. He's got a few strange players in there, but... And it's a decent team. Here goes Killian straight away. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. How on earth has Minx kept that there? That's crazy. Oh, what's, with, what's wrong with this gameplay? What ping, ping am I on? Oh, no. I'm going to concede here. To the GOAT. Harry Kane. Save there from Edwin. <clears throat> Got to win that. Got to win that. Wow, what a save again from Edwin. This guy's a decent player. Oh, that's a goal. That's a goal. Good save. All right, this guy's just peppered me for a little bit there. Let's let's go and pepper him back. How about that? Zizou with a great pass. He is so quick, guys. You just can't stop this man. Oh my god. Oh no no no. Look at his strength. That is that's so broken. Oh, it's not my aim that, but give you the benefit of the doubt, game. Nice Kante. The Kante's team of the year, guys, is going to be an absolute joke, isn't it? Killian. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm doing too much of him. The, the thing is, guys, when you play on this console, I, I mentioned it in the last game, I think. What a ball that is. Blanc. Keep up, pal. Nice. Is the players really do drop deep. So, if you're able to, to do, like, 
this is where bit being good at skill moves really does um that's a fake shot man if you watch on the controller there you can see that was a fake shot um yeah what was i saying so on this console you, you'll really notice how the, the difference in player as soon as you start doing skill moves and stuff that is the that is the real way to separate you from a from your opponent on this console in my personal opinion what a pass this this guy's actually really really decent he takes a lot of uh low percentage shots though um which we just know are never ever going to go in um here we go we're going to break out here this is a good break as well killian you're too quick pal you're too quick you're actually just too quick oh who is that robertson good defending zizu's coming away with the ball here killian Please score that. No, block central. That was unbelievable skill moves. Oh, you can see, look, look how crowded it is. What on earth am I seeing? Oh, look at how block central it is, man. Oh, I tried to get a header on him there, but this is a messy game, guys. His skill moves are so stupid. His skill, all of his skill moves are done so fast. You, you, you won't get anybody that's quicker at doing skill moves than this guy. Unless Neymar got a team of the year, there's just no chance. He's a he's a big powerhouse. Is the way I describe him so far. Who's that? Bart Husen. This guy's got such a weird team. He's actually quite decent. Yeah, good finish. Is he going to celebrate? Oh, my God. He's got Werner on a basic and I've conceded to him. He's, as I said, though, he's a decent player. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that is dirty. That's a sending off that. Yeah, pal. All right, boys, we're back. We're back. Who we got on the end of this? Let's try a finesse shot with him. Bang. His finesse shots aren't as good as... Um, lower or messy. I can tell you that straight off the first one. Oh, that's a goal, though. Oh, my God. He, he jumped in front of a Fellaini there. That's nuts. That's going to Blanc. Oh, my God. Let's get it on his head. Get it on his head. Oh, he's... he's oh, my God, bro. He's so, so sweaty. I, I don't know how else to describe him, but he's just an absolute sweat animal. No, no, no. Pen. Oh. I don't know why he's uh, doing stepovers there, because that's not what I'm asking for. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. You already know what's coming. Oof. This guy is playing me off the park. I can't lie. He's a good player. He's he's had a sending off, though, as well. So, hopefully... Well, that Bart Houston's just on a Mazzolini there, hasn't he? Nice one, boy, there. There's Puskas making a run there. We don't care about Puskas at the minute, though. We care about Killian. Look at him go. Just look at him go. There we go. There's the finesse shot that we were looking for. All right, lads, we're into the next game. We've got a bit of a kick clash here. Not not too bad, but still a kick clash. I apologise for that. Oh, bang that. Oh, good block. This guy's got a pretty decent team, actually. Is it? Oh, you feeling alright, pal? Looks like he's on a high press. This guy. Just bang it. His finesse shots aren't uh, uh, nearly as good as either of the the other two so far. I must say, it's by considerable distance too. Oh. Oh, what a block. Or interception, I should say. Nice, Kante. To Maradona. Into Mbappe. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a goal. Look at this goal, boys. Oh, my God. So, so good. Killian, Killian, killing them with the million. Wow, or 8 million, I suppose. 
What a goal, guys. This this, this is it right here, man. This is it. No. Oh. It's actually quite unlucky. I was looking for the, the green time there, but I bottled it. Come on, Otto. Good pressure here. It's got Reese James on there, but we got Zizou. We got Zizou. We got Mbappe too. You best believe it. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No, I wanted the ball roll scoop. Oh, that dribbling is crazy. That's better than Messi's. How on earth has he got better? Oh, that's just not what I've done there, is it? Yeah, good play. Ah, that's poor. His, his left stick dribbling is better than Messi's. I'm not capping either. What the hell? No way. Boys. Oh, stop it. Oh, I'm doing too much of him there. Oh, his skill moves are insane. I love this card. How do I get him? How do I get him, man? Nice, easy. Ah, oh, never mind. That's a joke, man. Like, I'm just going to keep on getting... Because it's so hard to, like, break down opponents, it's a really, really good test for their left stick dribbling. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Oof. He's still gone. Is he on? Oh, my God, what a pass, by the way. Man, I'm enjoying this too much. This, these are the best skill moves I, I've used this year as well. In terms of like the fluidity of, of using them. Are you feeling alright, pal? Oh my god, what are we playing against here? Oh, he's playing like... Uh, like he's going to get a team of your Mbappe if he wins this game. Oh my days, are you feeling all right, pal? Go back to your keeps, if I was you. Who just sit here and watch? Is he having me on? I bet. Let's go then. This guy's got to be having me on. He's give. He's got to be having a laugh at me. He has to be. Is he though? I don't know if he is. I don't know if he's just trying to play like football. No, he's he's having me on. Oh, Killian's almost destroyed Virgil there. I've won that back there game. I mean, if it, if it was to work for him, I'd, I'd just give him some credit. But that is boring, what he's just done there. Oh, easy does it, Moran, pal. There we go. In there like that. Into Killian. And we just sprint boost. There we go. That's going to be another goal. Oh, I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. I want to get in the box room and do some more skills, man. Of course he's winning that. Don't be so ridiculous. Wow, that's good defending, actually, from this lad. Oh, here we go again. Oh, wow. Oh, what a ping. Nice, good read. How on earth has he won that back there, though? Man, I need Kane's team of the year, boys. I really do. Nice. Mbaps. Good luck catching him, Virgil. With your crap acceleration. Oh, man. No. Oh, my days. Pen. Something. Ref. Pow. Pen. Surely. Okay, I'm never doing that, what I've just done there again. Ever. Blank, you're winning that. Oof. You're banging that, Kante. He is as well. Oof. Unlucky. It's been a very, very boring game, this one, guys. So Sorry you're having to watch this... Uh... This boring, boring game, but um, yeah, what I might do is, th this guy keeps playing boring, I just won't bring you back anymore. 
We'll just get some more highlights for the boy now. I'm doing too much with the guy, I can't lie. It's just a, it's a bit, a bit hard to learn on a PS5, you know, because the, the players drop so much deeper. Um, but yeah, boys, I'm just going to bring you back for highlights now against this guy because he's playing stupid. Here he is. Yeah, next joke. You're not stopping that. What a goal that is, guys. Go on, Killian. In, in behind you go, pal. Oh, my God. He's just done Virgil. He just done Virgil. This good. Oh, what a finish, too. What a goal that is. <laughs> this card is an absolute joke, man. Look at that, man. Oh, oh, my God. We've scored. That's a joke of a goal again. Killian just turns like nothing else I've ever seen before on FIFA. All right, guys. So, review done on Killian Mbappe. One of the best cards, if not the best. If you like skill moves, I think this will be the best card in the game for you. My personal favorite card, for sure. I like his high-low work rates. You can feel them. His skill moves are the cleanest I've used on the game. Um, the, the speed at how you do them, the elasticos are so fast. The reverse elasticos are so fast as well. Even the cancels are extremely, extremely fast. They feel faster than somebody like Neymar's gold card. I don't know if you can really understand what I'm saying there, but the pace he get like pulls off the skill move is quicker than like the natural gold cards on the game. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I could really feel that in game. Um, in terms of his actual like best qualities. Obviously, his pace is his best quality. Coupled with the 99 strength, you just can't go wrong with that. It's just it's just a bit silly, really, um, if I'm being honest. It's very, very unrealistic. Very, very arcadey. This card is like Volta. He's he's literally Volta. It's absolutely nuts. Um, I don't really know how to really start off this part of the video or the, the, the outro part. Um, pace, 10 out of 10. Shooting, 10 out of 10. Passing was like a 9 out of 10. I really like that. His dribbling is a 10 out of 10 as well. And his physical is a 10 out of 10. Like, honestly, I, I can't believe how good he is. Like, well, I can because he's 8 million coins and he's probably the best card on the game. But um, if I'm going to have to give one or two negatives, actually, is his finesse shots aren't very good. They, he was definitely the worst of the three at finesse shots by a considerable margin as well. Um... And I don't know if he's best suited to the striker role. I don't exactly know why, but I think maybe it's due to the fact that he, for some reason, still does struggle to body centre-backs. Um, so I think up against full-backs is where he'll be best suited. So Ram, Lam, right mid, left mid. But he can really utilise his skill moves better. Use his sprint boost a lot. And beat the fullbacks quite easily with his strength. Because he's going to be able to hold off all of the fullbacks on the game. Unless, you know, for somehow um, everybody's got the team of the year fullbacks. He will dominate down the, the flanks 100%. That's his best position. I'd rather play him there than striker. That's my personal opinion. Obviously, if you put the architect on him as well. You get the max out strength. And you get the insane boost to his passing. Where he could be really, really good down the byline. And he was great down the byline. If you... You know, with how quick his skill moves are, mixed with how quick he is, with how good his passing is, he is going to be an absolute asset down there more than anywhere. And, you know, maybe playing a, paying 8 million coins for somebody to play out wide, not necessarily worth it. Um, you know, as I said at the start of the video, no player is worth 8 million coins. But I do think his best position is going to be out wide, just so he can body the fullbacks and really, really, you know, destroy the fullbacks and get beyond them. And, you know, you can make it like a three-on-two against the uh, the centre-back. So, um, I really do think you're better suited to playing him wide. Um, if you do play him wide, I would say he's the best card on the game. Striker. Honestly, I'd rather Lewandowski at striker. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy that I'm saying that. I can't quite believe I am saying it. But I just think Lewandowski suits the role more than, than uh, Mbappe does. I can't really explain why that is. Um... Just he feels more of a sharpshooter, Lewandowski, and 
his body type and his, his physique and all of that feels better at striker compared to Mbappe. What I will also say as well, he's really, really good in the air, this card. He feels very similar to Ronaldo in the air, which I wasn't expecting. Um, he does jump above everybody, which is nice to see. So if you do like to use him in the air, you know, if you're if you're going to play him wide, you're going to be able to whip crosses to the back stick with your other wide player. And he will win the headers more often than not, I reckon, because um, he was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant in the air. Um, just another added bonus, really, with Mbappe. Um, so what, once again, just to go over it, pace, 10 out of 10. Shooting, 10 out of 10. Passing, 9 out of 10. Uh, dribbling, 10 out of 10. And physical, 10 out of 10. Um, that is the best ratings I've ever given a card, I think. And he deserves it. He's he's brilliant. Uh, 8 million coins, definitely not worth it. But if you do have that at your disposal, this is the best card in the game. Um, I have nothing else to say, guys. The best skill moves I've used on FIFA um, this year, specifically, how quick he exits them. He really does complete the skill moves very quickly. And that, for me, as a skiller myself, is so valuable. Um, his shot cancels as well were so fast. You could bob and weave really quickly with them. I just, I'm just i running out of things to say about this card other than he's absolutely brilliant. He's going to get 11, 11 out of 10 from me, um, which is also the best rating I've given a card. And he deserves it. He is absolutely brilliant, guys. If you can't afford him, he's, he is just lights out, lights out. That's all I've got to say, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. You subscribe to the channel so you never miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.